Okay, so you're hanging out with your girlfriends, and, and we talk about this a lot in the studio. You've had a very successful career. You can go anywhere, do anything, buy pretty much whatever you want. Are you the person that picks up the check mm, every time? Absolutely not. I don't want to hang around those people where I got to, you know I can get it. My friends are like, girl, let me get it. I'm like, girl, no, let me get it. And we fighting over who's going to get it. And they will not let me pay. Really? They will, my friends will not let me pay, but I will not let them pay. You know? So those are the friends I want. You know? I mean, you know, if they can't do it, they can. Right. But they're not just sitting around using me and waiting on, you know, I've done that. I did that. Right. I used to be the girl we go to the club and everybody's drinking and they drinking got a glass and drinking. In their pocket. Right. And I get the receipt and it's twelve thousand dollars. Right. And everybody's running and I'm paying for their parking tickets. I'm paying for everything. Wow. Wow. So I did that already. And those friends I don't want. You know, but these chicks that I have, they, they, they I don't have to pay for anything. So who out of all the ones that you just talked about that, you know, are your dearest friends? Who have you been friends with the longest? Like, how long has that been? Well, I I probably been friends with um, Keisha, the longest, and um, she's from here. I just left Keisha, and Keisha's just a regular, regular, you know, beautiful mother, right? Beautiful child, you know, and she doesn't want anything. She just wants to be the person that consoles me and gets me through things, and just be my friend. I, what more can a, a person like me ask for? Right. And she's funny. <laughs> so y'all so, laughing. Yes. Yeah. Yep. And um, I have a childhood friend who I grew up with. We're still friends Um, uh, we, from, since third grade. Really? Michelle wow. Bernard. Okay. We're still friends with, you know. So with it, Michelle, is it that relationship? Because people talk about when you have those friends from like long time ago before mm-hmm. anybody had anything. It's like y'all couldn't see each other for a year and then y'all see each other and y'all hook up. And it's just like y'all saw each other yesterday. Exactly. Is we that pick, how y'all are? We pick right back up. And me and Terry, Terry Robinson, too. I don't see Terry Robinson. Remember Terry Robinson from the girls? Yeah. M- me and Terry, too. You know, we just pick. And I don't see these girls. But when I see them, it's like, what's up? What's up? Let's go. <laughs> hey. Let's and go. they love me. So, yeah. And I don't, you know, I don't need a bunch of fresh, new Anything. How can anybody mm-hmm. even get in that circle, though? I mean, because we talk about how you never know what somebody's angle is because mm-hmm. everybody knows you for what you put out musically, but you don't know when somebody comes up to you, what, they, what they're what thinking, what they talk, and they start off good. And I'm sure you've met some, some, mm-hmm. some people in the past like, where are you going with this conversation? Are you getting ready to bug out? Well, you, <laughs> you know what I learned? I learned about myself a long time ago. I learned that immediately you know who a person is you know what their angle is but if you want somebody to like you so badly Mm. because you're not feeling great about yourself you could fall right into a ditch Mm -hmm. of people that would just you know claw on you and destroy you and i've learned like i said i learned that so now i don't have a lot of friends because i don't feel the need to be around people that don't like me and i know they don't like me Mm. but you know we all end up in a situation where especially when we're not secure with ourselves right we run people down mm-hmm. and they don't even like us and we know it but now it's like mm, i know i know what this energy is this is that same <laughs> stuff I'm i recognize you satan yeah. <laughs> i recognize you satan but is that why a lot of you know you super mega stars seem to link up as friends because you guys all at least know that you're not coming from a what can you do for me angle i mean honestly i think so i think that would be one of the reasons why yeah i hear people talk about <laughs> they they say that the conversations that you can have. I was in a room one time, and it was like Prince and, and another entertainer. And it was mm-hmm. at a dinner. And uh, they were like, man, they're making me pay for this, and they're making me pay for that. And I can't believe it. And Prince was like, I don't pay for anything. <laughs> <laughs> and she was like, what? She said, this is Las Vegas. Uh, I'm not paying for anything. All this stuff is free. I'm not. Uh, you're crazy to be paying for anything. And she was like, man, you should have told me. He said, you never asked me. I mean, it's like you have those conversations yeah. where – People aren't jealous because mm-hmm. it may be a million dollar conversation. It may be a multi million. It may be a global deal. You may be saying, you know, Carol's daughter's coming out with this, that, and the other. And the person's like, oh, really? Right. You know? Right. Well, you know, the thing is, you know, and to go back to your question, you want, you got to be careful because you want to be able to talk to people you know, that you can trust. Mm-hmm. People are not confidential. And sometimes you run a test on people and you give them some information. Oh, Ooh, and nice. you see it come right back in the tabloids. Mm. And then you know who that is. So you people, I think celebrities try to gravitate towards each other because they don't know who to trust, you know, with inf- information. But but myself, I don't I, I don't even gravitate to, towards celebrities, you know, to that, to that much. I don't give them my business. I give my friends. 
that can help me. And that's not even my friends. That's just one person that I'd speak to about, you know, anything personal. You got to really narrow it down to one thing because then you'll know where it's coming from when it right. all starts coming from different directions. Wow. So have you actually, is there like a rumor maybe we would have heard of over the last, you know, 15 years there's a that couple you planted? That you yep. put out there, There's, a, there's really? a couple and, you know, it came back and it was like, wow, it's you. Oh, You're the wow. mole. Wow. Yep. You found Smoked out who the mole out was. The yep. Wow. So who's your closest celebrity friend? Um, let me see. Like on speed dial, like. Let me call blah, blah, blah. I, I, I got a, <laughs> I got a, got a couple. Uh, yeah, I got a couple of, you know, people. I, I don't want to. It's Bill Gates, y- isn't it? You know. It's Bill Gates. <laughs> it's isn't Warren it? Buffett, isn't it? It's, it yeah, is, Mary. It's Bill Gates. <laughs> you got Michelle Obama's number, don't you? No. Okay. I don't. On speed dial. <laughs> Michelle. All right. I see that you would be open. cool. Oh, that would be real cool if right. Michelle Obama was my real my good friend like that. We can make that happen, Mary. <laughs> really? We know. Do people. you know who we are? <laughs> <laughs> Get Michelle on the phone. Yeah, okay. Well, you lost a number? She changed the um, number every time, you know. Yeah, every I time there's a debate, phone. she changed the number. Yeah, okay. Uh-oh. We got a costume change out of that song. We put that song on. <laughs> Mary did a costume change. Right. She got that hat, hat on? Yes. Got the, the glasses. <laughs> yes, she did. Did a little Mary bounce for her. Like that. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. Yeah, I'm in here performing and changing clothes. <laughs> <laughs> that song came Quick on. Change, right? I was like, get my hat. Right. The hat just <laughs> fell from the sky. You were ready. Came down, right. glasses. <laughs> Buster Rhymes killed that. Yeah, that's that's my fam. I love that's my brother, man. I do. Buster is like in the music business, and out of everybody that I had that I worked with, Buster Rhymes is the cl- one of the closest people to me. Because when it comes time to do something, we don't talk about money. Although we know we need to be paid, right. he just does, and I do the same thing for him. He's that's that's family, you know. The business comes later on, but you know there is business. Oh, there's definitely right. business, but the fact that you know business and someone would just do that for you, mm-hmm. it just makes you want to do that for them, for no money, for nothing. But, you know, that's just how it is. <clears throat> that's good. Mm-hmm. That's great. Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. So have you, uh, you know, and you know you've been very politically correct because you're a global figure, and I'm not going to ask you to name names, mm-hmm. but I will pre- present a situation. Have you ever asked somebody to do something and the paperwork just became so... So much, you was like, really? Just forget it. Yes, and no, I don't <laughs> want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> Were you surprised at it? Because the, you know they always the person might have said, "Yeah, no problem." And then once the paperwork got involved, you was like, <laughs> "Oh, for real?" You yeah, didn't. I'm always a little surprised at the way people come at you. you just, and, and, and it just makes you act ugly. Mm-hmm. So you got to catch yourself and be like, you know what? They don't owe me anything. But just be on the real and the up and up with me so I can know what it is. From the very beginning. From the very beginning. And that's mm-hmm. it. You know, that's all I'll say about that. Okay. <laughs> you know, a lot of times people, because of that very reason, will hire, you know, cousins and aunties. And were you that way when you were, you know, when your star was rising? Were you like, okay, I got a cousin for that. I got a niece for that. Were you the same way as far as trying to bring your family up? Or, or did you want to keep them separate? Well, I definitely brought my sister in. I brought my cousin in. I brought my brother in. <laughs> and I did the whole thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> so you didn't, you know, when you got married, you didn't clean house. <laughs> we clean house like uh, fire everybody. No, because sometimes when people, well, well, when people get married, the, the husband's like, oh, I don't like that dude. He got to go. Well, I didn't clean house because of what my, you know, what my husband said. I clean house because people didn't qualify. Mm. And when you start messing up my brand, you know, that's already messed up, and I'm trying to clean it up. <laughs> right. I, I love you, but you, you know, let's just be family. Yeah. You know, and How'd they that understand go over? that. It it it, it, it go what over. What you mean? <laughs> I don't get no more chicks. What's that Christmas dinner going to be like? Right. Not oh, it. Just staring at you. <laughs> Not it. You know, people are a little hurt, but then they understand. When they love you, they won't hold a grudge and all of that. They get over it. So you give a severance? Mm-hmm. You give a severance check? Absolutely to your, not. To your family? <laughs> Look, Ray Ray, not. I'm giving you two weeks, and I'll see you Christmas Eve, okay? Uh, <laughs> you don't do it like that, do you? No, but, you know, if anybody asks me for something, I'm, you know, I'll, I'll help out, you know? Not you know what I'm saying? Like I get it. not to repeatedly at repeat repeatedly ask me for money coming. all the time, all the time. You pay somebody's rent for a whole year? I'm, no, I'm, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I don't want to cripple people. You know? Right. So you just give a, ha- a a hand up, not a hand out. Exactly. Got it. Exactly. We got more Mary J. Blige. She's having fun. You know, as long as she's having fun, they say we can keep going. Yes.